Hi guys, Keith Best here, and in this video, I'm going to go over and show you how I get my page content for my homepage and uh, my service pages and things like that, and how I make sure that it's going to be unique on all of my sites. Now, I'm going to leave the videos below, which show you how I used to do it. Um, that's purely and simply if you want to look at it, and if you want to do it that way, instead of doing it this uh, new way but this new way is better um it is it's not expensive but you do have to pay for it but page rewriter it's a you don't have to pay monthly for it which is great for like sort of a lot of people who don't use it a lot you can just use like sort of just pay the the initial thing and basically create your content which is all you'll need for like one niche so basically what I've got is I've done a thing for termite control. Now I didn't want to sit and go through this with you because you know it it does take probably about an hour to do the content when you sit down and do it and you all organize it. So I wasn't going to like sit down and do it. So I've already done it. And I thought what I'll do, I'll just do a video just to show you guys exactly how I organize my stuff. It might help you. You might have your own way of doing it. You know, if you have, feel free to share it because that's what it's all about. It's about helping each other move forward and get better ideas. Okay, so as you know, with Page Rewriter, you basically get all of the content from the top 10 sites. So I've got here my meta titles and I'll show you in a different video how I actually optimize them. So that basically my meta titles on, especially my magic page, are always unique. Okay, because that's one of the things what will stop your sites from getting indexed is not having your meta titles unique. Google starts reading the same meta title over, 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 and over again. It's not going to be basically bothering to actually index them. Meta descriptions, I pulled in like sort of some good ones. Again, I showed a different video how I optimize these and how I'll change these lot around. Meta descriptions are not as important. Um, as far as meta titles are, as far as ranking, but meta descriptions are your clickbait. So you want your meta descriptions to be good because you want people to click through. Then I've got like the H1s, which are all the uh, ones here. And then I pulled some CTAs across from there, which I saw, and I thought I'll keep them. And I can obviously uh, change them around slightly to fit in with mine. And then I've got me content. Now, when you get all this content from here, you can create four, five, you know, three sort of good size pages from this content if you organize it properly. Now, the way I organize it is I use what I've got in the H1s and the H2s. You know, how much does termite treatment cost? This one happened to have like a lot of different uh, questions in, which is really good because if you go to scroll to the bottom of my page, you'll see. I've got like a fact page now, which has got like loads of content on it. In fact, let's have a look. If we do that and go to there, copy it and do that and stick that in there. We've got 1,682 words on that FAQ. Now, obviously, we can split this up into FAQs and just, you know, have it as a, the FAQs can be spun. So you can maybe have like sort of five FAQs on the different pages. So they're on your magic pages and they spin each time it goes around. Or we can create an FAQ page on its own with 1,600. Lots of different things what we can do with this FAQs. Well, that's a really good find what I got there. Because like I say, I can do lots and lots with that. But then I've got, like I say, I've got this one, which I'm going to use as like main content. So this has got um, just termite damage. It's just an overall thing about termite. What are the signs? What, when they're active? What does termite treatment last? What termite treatment do I need? Now this one, I've come up with a good idea. Well, I think it's a good idea anyway. What type of termite treatment do I need? So I've got like the liquid soil termicides. And then at the bottom, I've got Taurus SC, Ortho, Zero, Two, whatever. 
And then I've got termite baits. Oh, I've got spectricide termite detection. And then I've got wood treatments and I've got some wood treatments down there. Because what I can now do is put links to these two affiliate sites. So now, like Amazon. So now, basically, my lead generation site can also be generating affiliate commissions as well. Because these can obviously, you know, again, I can build it up. I can put these into different areas because using the Magic Page plugin, export the posts and pages, I could create this as a um, termite control page, termite control location. And so basically that would be, that would rank in a specific location and somebody reads down and they find, I've got liquid soil termicides and they're like, oh, that Taurus SC, oh my God, buy that. Boom, I've just made money off it. Okay, and again, I don't know how long this one is. Let's have a look. Where does it start? So it starts from there. This one seems to be quite a long one. Wood treatments and so, yeah, it goes down to here. Yeah. So we go to here and chuck it in. That's 1,700 words. So that's a nice like sort of post and we're going to be able to use that really well. So that's me termite control. And like I said, I've got termite treatment two here, which I've got there. And again, because I've got these different bits in here, like soil treatment, wood treatment, bait systems. I could copy some of this. Oh, where was it? Yeah, I could copy some of this bit here and put them in there, and I'm still going to get unique content. And let's have a look. Copy scape. So if I'm going to uh, chuck this in, do a preview. So I've 30 results on that one, okay? So it's quite a bit of like sort of thing on there, so I'd need to change it, but we can change it quite easily. We go back to this one. So that's what I would, that's how I actually optimize it. Okay, so that's how I get everything sorted. And then basically I will then, this one I'll flesh out a bit more, this one's got very little in. Uh, termite prevention. That one's not got much in, but I can have a look at it and flesh it out a bit. How much does termite treatment cost? That one seems to be a smallish one. But again, I mean, well, let's just have a look. Let's do them all and see how many we've got. Termite treatment too. Because even if they're over like sort of 600 words, five, 600 words, they're still fairly decent. That's 300. So yeah, that one needs fleshing out a bit. But that one, I can use some of the stuff from above and put it in there as well. Termite prevention. Again, I can use some of the stuff above because some of that mentions as part of prevention, like obviously the building stuff. And so that's 637 without it. But again, I can put some of the stuff in to expand on it. And how much does termite treatment cost? That goes down to that's 700 words, so that's a decent one for on its own. Um, what type of termite treatment do I need? So I can use this one. Oh, I think I've done it. Oh, I don't want that bit in, do I? That's 1,500. And then, like I say, we've done me fax, so we know that's a big one. So that's out of one credit on page rewriter, and I have got all of that content. So what's next? Basically, the next thing is, let's put this into AI, AI, AI rewriter. Can I even see it? Um, because we saw we got 30-odd as a go to so we put that in and do that 
I want to have four different variations. I'll leave it on rewrite more and let's rewrite it. Now, see, this is going to take up was well, one credit per 500 words, so it's going to take up you know about four credits. But it's going to get me content which I can use thousands of times. And this is just on the actual uh, rewrite more, so it's not even on the thing. So it's got there. I've got me four different ones. So basically, now let's just have a look. We copy that. Now this had thirty, yeah, thirty different uh, results as it stood. So let's do this. One result. How brilliant is that? And I bet that's not, and that's because of that author 2000. So let's just have a look. So let's do compare text. Right. So this has got 235 words matching 15%. So in your home, not bother about wood on wood can help you for signs of right types of termite treatment so it's got a bit in there where and it's got that in this is probably the place where i wish they got it from but obviously if i wanted to i could go through and change them but to be honest i probably wouldn't you know what I mean? You could change them yourself, but it's to me that's like sort of fine. It's let me go in back. So they found like sort of one thing. So I reckon that will find that one site, which was a Bob Vila site. I think each one of them will have the same one. When it's gone from 30 down to one, oh, this one's got two. Okay. So, again, I could go in and just tweak them a bit and quite easily get rid of them. Let's try the third one. So they've got £8.16 left. What's going on there? That's got one. And... That's got one. So like I said, they've all got that Bob Vila one on. So I might, could go in and change it, but to be honest, I don't think I'll bother. But as you saw there, that went from 30 comparisons down to one. And then of course, what I can do is do that. And what that's going to do is it's going to spin them and bring them out as spun content. So now, if I do that, it's still probably going to have that Bob Villa one, but let's just try it. Why not? Uh, if I go to here. Drop it in there. Do a compile. Do a copy. And chuck it into Copyscape. Do a premium search, and I bet Bob Vila comes up. Now that's actually come back worse. Ooh, strange. Hmm. 
Very strange. I wonder if that's not. Because we compile it, it's coming out not so good. There you go, we got three. So it might be worthwhile changing some of them things actually, so that we basically we are more in with it. Let's try another one. Yeah. Yeah, so it's fairly uh it's unique, it's unique enough. Because like I say, this is the content what's going on, and it's gonna go on a page, it's not gonna be magic page, so I'm not that fussed. But if you notice it's all the same stuff. It's all wag logs, thousand pounds, thousand pounds. So it's the same words on each one. So if you went in and compared the text. So it's got 24 words matching. So you could go in, all right, change that around slightly, change that around, job's done. So it's not good, it wouldn't be hard to actually change them around. But that is it, guys. That's how I optimize my content, or how I organize my content, I should say. And well, this is how I now do it. I just basically optimize it, it split it into four things. And then, like I say, I've got now got four very different pieces of content, which are ready to go up on any of my sites. And that's from one credit of uh, using the pull. And then obviously if you use the AI rewriter, then you're gonna use like sort of uh, credit for every 500 words. So like I say, that's nearly enough 2000. That's gonna be like sort of four credits, but that now can go on a number of different sites. Hope that was useful, guys. Catch you on the next video. Bye.